The big guns of the Bosnian Serbs heavily armed 1st Kraina Corps are under orders to halt the joint Croat-Bosnian advance well to the west and south of Banja Luka. Western intelligence sources say the Kraina Corps is intact and by and large fully manned. Most of the bomb damage to Serb military communication lines caused by NATO airstrikes has now been repaired. The Bosnian Serb commander General Mladic has now been seen in Banja Luka after being in a Belgrade military hospital with a kidney problem. Meanwhile, the refugee exodus continues. The expectation is of new and bigger clashes between the Serb troops and Croat Muslim Federation forces, even though today the confrontation line is stationary and military action has subsided. The atmosphere is, is coming down a little bit, but certainly the confusion on the people's uh, faces and the frustrations are clearly seen uh, in, in a lot of the people here. Uh, materials and facilities inside the, each and every town show signs of uh, exhausting itself, so people are becoming very much aware that the situation at hand is, is a very dramatic one. While almost 100,000 refugees demonstrate how much they fear the worst, Bosnian commanders admit their forces are overstretched, that any further military progress will be difficult. There has been some sporadic firing today here by the Bosnian Serbs, but Croat forces elsewhere have now by and large withdrawn, having created the buffer zone inside Bosnia which they long planned. The Croat forces have stopped, in some cases even uh, withdrawn from uh, their offensive position. Uh, I'm not uh, certain about uh, the forces belonging to the Bosnian government. But bus into this standoff from Serbia proper have come some 1,000 Serb paramilitaries the Tiger shock troops of the ultra-nationalist leader Arkan, who led the reign of Serb terror and ethnic expulsion of Muslims around Banja Luka in the first two years of war. We have come to stop the Muslim offensive, declared Arkan. We will fight to the last man. Three years ago, Arkan and his soldiers acted on the orders of Serb President Milosevic. The question today, with both humanitarian organizations in Banja Luka and tens of thousands of refugees fearing the worst, did Milosevic order Arkan into northern Bosnia this time? Even the Bosnian government think not. Uh, we, we don't think that Mr. Milosevic will intervene, even if Banja Luka does uh, uh, become a subject of action by army to be, quote-unquote, liberated. But Arkan seems to be on the move, 1,000 paramilitaries. Well, that is the real point. As long as you have people like Arkan and people like Mladic running around in places like Banja Luka, then you really don't have peace. There is clear evidence of Bosnian military impatience to expel these Serb forces from the Banja Luka region and to liberate its remaining Muslim population. Because at the same time, Serb expulsions continue. Here, for example, ferry loads of Croats being forced into Croatia today. Hundreds of Muslims suffering the same fate in the south around Doboj. As for Banja Luka, the Bosnian government say they want a political, not a military solution to make it multi-ethnic, including Serbs. But those who orchestrated all the horrors, like Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic, who today visited the city, must be expelled or arrested. They're responsible uh, for terrible crimes in that area, and as long as they say in that town, no refugees will have the opportunity to come back. You are prepared to negotiate with the Serbs on Banja Luka then? Not only are we prepared to negotiate with them, we are prepared to say that Banja Luka can stay as part of a Serb entity. We just w wish to make sure that those elements that are responsible for ethnic cleansing and genocide in Banja Luka are removed. Only Sarajevo offers new hope. The airport open, a dozen aid flights a day helping to restock near empty warehouses and several land routes through Serb territory now open.